Hi, welcome to another educational video by Catspit Productions. Today we're going to talk a little bit about squeegees. Uh, I'm often asked, does it really matter what squeegee you use? And uh, the answer, in my opinion, is yes it does. Okay. Um, there are a lot of screen printers who would tell you that the squeegee is, is one of the least important parts of the process, that it's not as an important factor as like mesh or tension. However, uh, screen printing is first a, a technical skill and then an art. So there are certain uh, factors that will come into play to, uh, in order to give you the highest quality print with the easiest uh, you know, time, okay? So, so what that means is, is that, yes, squeegees do make a difference, and if you take the time to use the appropriate squeegee, it's gonna help you make a higher quality print easier, okay? And uh, let's first start off, everybody asks about what size squeegee should it be? Well, the bottom line is that, is that your squeegee should be about a half an inch on each side of your design. Okay, so that's to say, if, say, this was a big square that I'm printing, this squeegee would be perfect to print this. If this were a big black square, say, this is the design that's going to get printed. It's a big black square, right? So you can see that the squeegee overlaps this. That would be perfect to, to flood and stroke a design the size of this piece of paper, okay? So that's something that you want to keep in mind. And what that means is, is that you're going to have several different sizes of squeegees in your shop, okay? And, uh, you know, you can, there are some places where you can, yeah, actually there are a lot of places where you can order different sizes just like this, okay? So that you end up with all kinds of sizes. You can order them by the size and they'll be nicely polished off. Or you can actually make your own by ordering a piece of wood squeegee handle and then buying the roll of squeegee, okay? So you can buy a bulk roll of squeegee and then buy a wood handle and insert your squeegee in. And this particular method uses uh, adhesive to hold the squeegee in here. But with these wood handles, you can also use machine bolts, and uh, you, you have, just have to get the right length, and you, you can drill holes and use machine bolts. And uh, idealistically, I like to use the machine bolts because then you can reuse the wood handle. Because then when the squeegee gets destroyed, you can take the machine bolts out and pull the squeegee out and put a new squeegee in, drill the holes through the squeegee, and then re replace the, the machine bolts. So, like this one, see? So here's the machine bolts, it has three. And there they are. So this handle can be reused. So I can unscrew the machine bolts, take them apart, there's two pieces, and then pull the squeegee out, and then I can replace it with new squeegee. If it's glued in, like this one, as you can see, there's no machine bolts, that's it. You, you know, you if you try to pull this out, most likely you're gonna crack the wood and it's it's not going to work it just doesn't work these are more disposable in this fashion so it depends on where you get your your uh, wood handle or where you buy them if if they're going to come with uh, machine bolts when you buy the wood handle by itself it's not going to have machine bolts you have to buy the machine bolts and drill the holes and do everything yourself so that's that's the way that works uh, for textile screen printing, let's note that your rectangular straight cut edge squeegee is going to be the best performance for you guys that are printing t-shirts, okay? You don't want to use a ball nose or a v-shape or any kind of angled cut. You want to use this rectangular squeegee, okay? And remember guys, it's really, really important that your squeegee blade or the edge that is, is shearing the ink, this is known as the blade, Make sure that this is very sharp and, and no gouges or roughness whatsoever. It has to be sharp and clean edge. The sharper it is, the cleaner edge it is, the better it's going to shear the ink, leaving a better ink deposit for you. And that also comes to the point of durometer. 
Okay, squeegees come in different durometers, which means different uh, firmness or different uh, hardness. Okay, this is a 65 durometer natural. It's kind of soft. Okay, and this yellow one here is a 70 durometer. It's a little bit harder, but 70 durometer is, is about the general durometer that, that screen printers use in a wide variety of applications. Uh, however, it would be handy to have different durometers to choose from in your shop. Um, there's an article on the website about squeegee durometer and how it affects your prints. So go to the printing articles section and uh, go to, uh, I believe it's under the more tab. And there's a, a whole article on squeegee durometer and then there's a link to another article that's really detailed about squeegee durometer and print results. So for further information on this subject, see the website, see the printing articles page, and uh, check out the durometer, squeegee durometer and print results article, okay? Guys, please rate five stars. Please subscribe. And don't forget to visit the website, catspitproductionsllc.com. There's a lot of free information about uh, screen printing there. Don't forget to keep up with my blog as I share personal information and insight on, on the screen printing business and uh, I share with you all my trials and uh, tribulations about uh, you know being a small screen printer and, and trying to be competitive in this uh, tough economy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.